This video is going to be breaking down the 4-3 even 6-1 defense. And in your coach adjustments, you want to have auto flip defensive play called off, your auto alignment set to base, option defense on conservative. If you don't want to have to deal with match some of the matching coverages, you could put your hook curls on five here. It's one of the things that I like to do to kind of cancel that match out or override that. Either way, uh, you can also just shade your coverage underneath and that will cancel the match as well. But we're going to be basing everything out of cover four quarters. What you want to do is you want to flip the formation. And the first thing is we're going to be going over this send four. So the way that you're going to set up the send four is you are just going to show blitz, shift your line to the left, slant your line to the left side, and you're going to stand about right in here. You can shade your coverage underneath. And basically the idea is you're trying to engage with the center so that they can get this defensive tackle disengaged. This is one of the best disengages in the game. And oftentimes it can really force them to have to do different types of pass protection. And ultimately, if that blitz is not coming in a lot, one of the best other versions of 6-1, and this is why 6-1 I think is good, is because it's going to force different types of pass protection. What we're going to do now is we're going to send a five-man blitz. So if the send six is getting blocked or the send four is getting blocked, we'll send a five-man blitz. The way that I like to send the five-man pressure out of this is we're going to slant our line to the right. We're going to blitz this linebacker on the right side. I'm sorry, slant your line to the left. QB contain, which is really, really important for this. And then you can play whatever coverage you want in behind the defense. But what you're going to see here is this is going to create a nice little edge rush from this outside contain, and you're able to get the pressure at the quarterback. Ultimately, what this is going to cause them to do is they are going to block people. And so this is where we're going to try to take advantage of them blocking somebody and start sending six at them. And so the best way to send six, in my opinion, is to basically send it like this. We're going to send a linebacker off of both sides. And essentially uh, what you're looking for here is you're looking for this outside linebacker on this right side to still come in. If they do block a running back, so as you see there, we get a pressure on that linebacker. And then what will also typically happen uh, with the send six is the send six is one of those things where if you contain this send six, you really want the defense to look like this and then you shift them. So you see how we kind of set this up like so. And basically on this send six, what we're really looking for is we're looking for that running back to block the left side so that the blitz can come in off of the right side. The other thing about this send six that makes it really, really, really hard for them to just block somebody is the fact that six one, whenever they're blocking people in general, six one is able to disengage quite a bit. And so a lot of times you see their block tight end, we're able to get that edge pressure off that opposite side. So this send six is pretty much all the way back at this point. And this is what I think makes six one a top, top defense in the game is its ability to get nice pressure, uh, regardless of really what they're doing. Let me see here, we'll show it to you one more time. And again, you can kind of hover over here on this right side, this time to block a running back. And you see, I think I got bumped by the tight end. So we'll show that again. But essentially, and then from there, you can kind of set up your coverage really however you want to uh, off of this. So the beauty of this is, like I said, we're just trying to get the linebacker on the left side to kind of engage with the running back. You can kind of, you can really honestly stand either side. And here you see, able to get that pressure against that blocked running back from that linebacker. So the other thing that you can do from this, which I think makes six is another thing that makes, I think, six one really good is it's one of the best defenses in the game to double flat out of. And so when you're double flatting, what that's going to do is going to take away the sidelines really well. And you can do this out of this send for look. So we have the send for look. All we have to do is soft squat both of our outside cornerbacks. We're pretty much set up here and we can try to get this disengaged and then we're able to play really nice coverage in behind it. 6-1 combines a lot of the elements of effective defense. It's a symmetrical formation. It has a really, really good send five blitz, which is super important to be able to have. We'll show you that send five blitz one more time here. And again, we'll just send, we're just sending five off of this right side. To me, this is the best version of the send five. And I think my hover was a little bit bad there, so I'll show it to you one more time. And when you hover for the send five, you typically want to be like over in this area. And so you see here, hover for that send five. I think the tight ends must be pushing this linebacker in. We'll spread the linebackers. If the blitz is ever getting kind of clunked up like that, you can just spread the linebackers. And normally that will fix it. But I think that tight end's kind of bumping him a little bit. Yeah, you see how that slot receiver is kind of bumping that, that player. So we'll just kind of change the routes a little bit here, run a little bit more of a standard route combo on this right side. And you'll see that this is normally a little bit more consistent than what we're seeing here. So you'll see here, 
And there you see there's that right side pressure able to come in. I wonder if that was what was messing up our send six. So we will just show that one more time. And this is the send, uh, this is gonna be the send six now. So the way I like to send six out of this is just blitz the linebackers. You can slant your D line inside if you want to. I like to spread them on the send six. Um, just because I think it's a little bit better. And now you'll see if they're blocking somebody, you're still going to get that right side pressure super clean, uh, which is really, really important in this defense. All in all, guys, the 6-1 defense is one of the most versatile defenses in the game. It's really good against the run. And then now that we have you know good blitzes against the pass, this defense is all the way back. If you guys want to check out my full 4-3 even 6-1 defensive ebook, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, but this, this is you know one of the top, top defenses right now. And then situationally, you know, you can try to send five off this left side as well. And you see that linebacker is able to come in. And then the other thing about this six one is if they block a tight end, let's say we're sending that five man or that six man pressure against a block tight end. We got two, you know, flat zones or something like this. You're going to see here that oftentimes this left side guy will get either the defensive end or the edge pressure. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you guys want to check out my entire 6-1 defensive ebook, it is in our school community. You can get that for 10 bucks. Uh, 10, 10 bucks gets you access to everything for Madden and for College Football 25. The link is in the description below.